One morning on the island of Sodor, Nick had nothing to do, and he was pretty bored, and then James puffed him with some cars. Hey, Nick, can you take these over the bridge? Um, the risky bridge? Yep. Okay, well, I'll see you soon then. And the trucks started laughing. Oh, shut up, you stumped trucks. No one really liked the risky bridge, because, well, it was risky, and a lot of engines got hurt. Nick was heading up the risky bridge, and he was turning around this little area here. And then James was here. Oh, Nick, don't forget, you also have to pull the candy cars later. Okay, said Nick, and he went up the bridge very carefully because it was risky, obviously. Meanwhile, Sir Handel was down with a freight car, and he was going to load some stuff up. Oh, hi, Sir Handel. Hi, Stanley. Um, what are you doing, said Stanley? Oh, you know, I'm just going to pick up something with this freight car. Okay, well, um, could you take the candy cars also? Yeah, I can try my best. Okay, bye. It was made with a lot of random stuff, and there was this big loop here. And when any engine went down, it was not safe, because it always broke, which it just did. Because it was made out of a boat, an old boat. Nick was stuck on there for a while, but he eventually got back up. His car started to rumble and roll, but he eventually got up the bridge. And he was starting to derail a little bit, but it wasn't the end of the world, and his trucks were being bad. Nick was stuck, and he didn't realize Sir Handel was down there. And the trucks started rolling forward, and he went down and smashed into Sir Handel. The trucks wouldn't stop laughing, and they were being bad. And Nick had crashed into Sir Handel and derailed his freight car. Nick, what's wrong? Sorry, Sir Handel. I was... It was the truck's fault, and the trucks would keep laughing. Kevin was trying to get all the freight cars and all the actions back together. He had pulled Nick back on the rails, but it wasn't very easy. And it was very hard for Kevin to do such a thing, because obviously Nick is bigger than him. Okay, I better go. Oh, and Sir Handel, could you move? They gotta pull the candy cars. I thought I was meant to pull the candy cars. No, James told me to, but Stanley told me to. It doesn't well, I think you should, Nick. Why? Actually, never mind. I think I should. Why should you do it? I should be able to do it. Because you still have to pull all these troubles and trucks. Oh, right. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye, Sir Handel. Bye, Nick. Nick was all coupled up, and he was ready to keep continue going. He had to go to the quarry. Sir Handel had coupled up to the caramel cars and the candy cars, and he was waiting for the power station to heat up, that way he can grab the materials from the needed. Nick, said James, what? I thought you were meant to take the candy cars. Yeah, but Sir Handel was. Okay, well, remember, I also need you to take a few more things. Like what? Oh, just some cargo and some coaches. Really? There's so much stuff I have to do today. Well, that's the point of being an engine on Sodor, and he puffed away. All of a sudden, Sir Handel started moving, but he didn't realize James was right next to him, and they smashed into each other. Sorry, James, said Sir Handel. It's alright. It's a bit my fault. Then had got James back on the rails. Thank you, Kevin. No problem. And he went away. Okay, well, can you take? Can you let Nick take the candy cars? I was meant to take the candy cars in the first place. Nick is taking those trucks to the quarry. Diesel, Ten, and Bert were waiting at the intersection, and Nick showed up with the quarry cars that he didn't take. Oh, great, it's Nick. Let the little engine through. Why should we let him through, said Bert? Because, just let him through. When Nick rolled away, they secretly made a plan. They were going to smash into the back of the cars and make the bridge blow up. We only have a certain amount of time. Let's go fast. It was the perfect timing. Nick was going right on the bridge, and Sir Handel was right above him. Diesel, Ten, and Bert coupled up to each other and smashed into the back of Nick, and dynamite blew up. The bridge was rumbling, and Diesel, Ten, smashed into the back of Nick so he can get right into the bridge. And before you know it, the bridge fell. It was a disaster. Sir Handel was on the other side of the trucks, and Nick was crushed by it. Ouch! And the diesels ran away. They uncoupled from the cars and got away. It was a nice one, Bert. Yeah, I know. They're never going to get out of that situation. Ha. I wonder what we can do next. Come on, Diesel 10. Let's go. Maybe we can do some more, some more trouble. Ha ha ha. 
and they both laughed and puffed away. Both Harvey and Kevin had to come around to fix the situation. The bridge was finally fixed after a few months, which is a long time for the engines to wait. So what happened is Kevin had got all the cars back on track. Stanley had pulled Nick out of the situation, and then Bertie the bus showed up. Hello, Nick. And one of the inspectors came out of Bertie. She is one of the inspectors. She makes sure everything is back together. What happened here? yelled the woman. Well, the Diesels did it again. They knocked me under and they made the bridge collapse. Don't blame those Diesels. They're working harder than you. And she walked away. Nick was in shock that he didn't believe her. Ugh, that inspector doesn't believe me. We'll show those Diesels. And Nick and Stanley both puffed away and they were very upset because they didn't get their way.